Hello, this is Fashionably Amy. Today I decided to do a review on my Emily wallet. My wallet is the newer model, which is slightly different from the older model. So I thought it would be a good idea to show you the newer features. I used to own another LV wallet and that one is the Zippy Compact Wallet. I have since sold the Zippy Compact Wallet to get this one. I had done my research, obviously. Uh, I love the fact that it had 10 different card slots and that it was a very well-constructed wallet. It was quite compact for a full-size wallet. I've also seen a lot of positive reviews out there on that wallet, so I decided to purchase it. However, when I started using it, and that only applies to me, so please don't think that it's a bad wallet. It just it wasn't as suitable for me because I have a bit of arthritis on my wrist and my fingers. So I am a little weaker, therefore the zipping around was difficult for me. Because the card slots are not like these ones where the card fits in uh, horizontally, it actually fits in vertically, the slot was smaller and as a result, you really needed a lot more strength to pull them out and to put them... Putting them back in was better, but to actually pull them out, it was really difficult because there were five slots on one side and five slots on the other side so the first slot was not as big of an issue but the bottom slot was very very hard because I couldn't use it properly myself I had to sell it so um, I went back with the type of wallet that had worked for me for a long time and so I chose the Emily wallet so this is the wallet that I've had uh, before the Emily and before the ZP Compact wallet this is the Coach wallet that I've had so many years. I think I've had that for like 10 years, I think. And it held up really well. And what I liked about it is that I can easily just open and close it. And there's nothing wrong with this wallet. It's just a bit old. I got a little tired of it. Plus it was slightly bulky because right now this wallet is empty and this wallet is full. And it is the exact same thickness as my Emily. I chose the fuchsia color. This is the monogram Emily wallet and there is stitching all over the flap, all over behind the wallet, and it goes across all the way to the inside of the wallet. The other feature about this wallet is that it has glazing on each side of the wallet and on the flap and on the side of the wallet. So as I mentioned in my Louis Vuitton collection video for those who have not seen it, uh, the one thing I would be careful when choosing this wallet is I would actually look at the glazing here where the two canvases meet. The front of the wallet has two LV on the main flap and two more LVs underneath it. Uh, it is one piece of canvas that continues like so. So it actually goes like this. I love how compact this wallet is even after I fit everything that I used to have in my other two wallets and it's still very very thin. The main flap of the interior is also leather in the same color and um, it, the interior extends all the way to the bottom here and, um, but they didn't extend all the leather all the way inside. So the inside here is actually plasticky material that is wipeable as well as the back here, this side but this side is brown. Um, on the second flap here, we have the monogram canvas on this side and the plastic material, which is fuchsia color on this side. In the main compartment, we have the leather, fuchsia leather on this side and the monogram canvas on this side. And the interior looks like this. It is the main compartment, therefore this area is a lot 
thicker. The zipper interior of the pocket is all brown and it is the same plasticky material that is wipeable. Each slot is a cut out and the interior of the, of the slot is also of that plasticky material on this side. And on this side, it's kind of lined with the fabric lining. It's hard to see now because it's so small. We also have this leather zipper pull, which is the same leather and color matching the rest of the leather accents. This uh, button closure says Louis Vuitton on it. And uh, mine is made in France. Um, this zipper pull is a very simple zipper pull. It just has this um, ring. To find a decote in your wallet, you have to go and look. So where the main compartment is, this uh, fuchsia part, you have to look behind it. So behind the fuchsia part, basically in the very second compartment, the thinnest one, it will be located on the right side of your wallet along the seam. Seven and a half inches across, three and three quarter inches in height, and one inch when it's filled as well. You can squeeze your wallet, but when it's filled, then it's closer to one inch. As I mentioned, I love that I can just open and close by snapping it and by opening it like this. I used to think that I need a wallet that has so many card slots, but I have no problems whatsoever with this wallet having only four slots and that's because the main cards that I have in front the four cards that I have I use all the time and the rest of the cards I hardly ever use sit in here which is still easily accessible like you open it and you can still see you can still go through your cards one by one if you really needed to find it and because I have my main driver's license card in this compartment, I can always get it out very quickly. And then the rest of the stuff, the very important medical information or business cards that I have here are also easily accessible. But not so visible once you open the wallet. I love that the middle compartment here is so open and large. The things that I'm a little bit worried about this wallet is the glazing. As always, glazing is always going to be one of the main issues Louis Vuitton will have to deal with or you, the user will have to deal with is that over time when it does peel, because depending on how you use it, how often you use it, then you will have to replace it. So that's one of the things that I would be worried about, but I decided that it was not a con that I couldn't live with. Other than that, this is the only con I can find with this wallet. I, I really cannot find any con with this wallet. I have had no problems with uh, my button scratching. Uh, that's because I always face this, the side of this wallet in, in like a cloth side of my bag or I try to just place it strategically so that it wouldn't rub against something hard. And the price point for this wallet is very, very good for a Louis Vuitton wallet. I believe it is the cheapest full-size wallet that you can get along with the Josephine. So this is how my wallet looks like when it's completely full. I have my four main uh, credit cards and bank cards in the front. In the main compartment, I have cash. And in this little slip pocket here, this compartment, I have my driver's license and uh, my Medicare card. I have some business cards and um, I have some this is my prescription so these are thin items that I like to put in this uh, little pocket because it's thin so it won't bulk up the back of the wallet as much and then in the very zipper compartment here I do not put coins I do not put coins in my wallets ever but of course you can do so if you like uh, but I have my, all my other cards such as uh, rewards cards and some credit cards that I don't use as often. So I have them all in here. So I'd like to show you how easy I meant with uh, the card slots in this wallet. So it was, I simply just 
put it in and take it out it was not even that stiff when I first got it it was obviously tighter because it was brand new but I had only placed one card on each card slot overnight and it was completely completely molded to how I like to use it I have my thinner case but it's still a case it's the Nexus 4 phone it's the Google Nexus 4 I fit it easily easily in the main compartment I wouldn't fit it in here just because I don't want to stretch the stitching and closes very easily it's a little heavy it's a little thicker but it's completely doable I've only had uh, this wallet for two months so I couldn't give a proper review on the wear and tear but I will definitely do a video on the wear and tear when I've used this wallet for a little while but so far I really love this wallet it's just one of those things that you use and it's just so practical so that's it for my Louis Vuitton Emily wallet review if you like this video, I would love it if you give me a thumbs up and comment down below if you have any questions. And I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. Uh, thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one. Today I have a special video for you guys. I wanted to do a sub email reveal as well as two big unboxing from Louis Vuitton.